and settledness. It's not from a hurricane landfall. And speaking of that, Francine has made landfall in southern Louisiana. It's been official as of the top of the hour. So that will continue to move to the north. But its flow will influence increasing moisture and even closer or just a little distant to the center of that near Mobile Bay. That's where one of those feeder bands will start to set up. Starts near the central Gulf region and then kind of makes eastward progression through the night. So this evening, you're going to be out and about. Be aware that you'll have some patches of mostly light rain between now and midnight. I'd say roughly 2 a.m. we'll start monitoring that band, that feeder band that comes across the western panhandle. By about 5 to 7 a.m., it'll be on our western counties. Within that band, we can have stronger downpours. We can have a little bit of a stronger wind gust, maybe clocked at about 30 mile per hour with the wind gust, and perhaps enough low-level spin and shear, as it's called, to maybe cause a quick spin-up tornado. We've mentioned this a couple times over the last couple days. Now we're seeing at least a little more evidence in our western areas through the mid to late morning hours and perhaps even into the afternoon. That could be the prime time for that kind of localized, isolated, severe weather to occur. So we'll be monitoring that very closely. While east Eastern areas, you'll get more in the way of scattered or intermittent areas of rain. Not so much of the core of any kind of severe weather risk for you in the Suwannee Valley. But most of us, if not all of us, will get in on at least some times of rain. And if it trails over one area more frequently, you can get some decent and hefty rain accumulations. I'd say on average one to two inches, three to the west, and maybe a few isolated higher amounts that could trigger some local spot flooding. Wind gusts are not going to be all that much of an issue, but again, where those those areas of spin occur, that can enhance the wind gusts in just a few localized neighborhoods, and that is the reason behind a slight risk for scattered occurrences of severe weather in the tri-state to the central Big Bend during the course of your day tomorrow. Friday, still some leftover activity, but a drier slot enters by the weekend, so we break out at least a little more sunshine.